Hi everyone, we are um, creating with the August special, which is the um, gnome for autumn paper pack. So let me grab that here really quick. So <clears throat> this is the paper that we're creating with. Now, if you didn't want this paper, you could choose whichever paper pack you wanted to play with. Um, this is going to be a seasonal paper pack, which is very cool. It's going to come out during every season. And so it's going to be an, a special, um, besides having this very us paper, we have this um, thin cut, which is uh, the gnome itself which is like playing with paper dolls. It is so fun. We have this wonderful card making saying stamp set. Then of course we have the scrapbooking stamp set, the lovely cork shapes um, that I definitely use. And I did use, um, for this first layout especially, I did use this stamp and thin cut i love the pumpkins and i love the leaves and the sunflowers so um that is what we're playing with so let me give you some cuts first okay so you have two choices of paper that i use now you can use whichever paper pattern you want the first one is six by ten and a half and then of the same pattern, whichever pattern you choose, then you're going to want to do four and three quarters by ten and a half. Okay. You can't see that. I'm sorry. Is that better? Yes. Okay. So just to reiterate that. So four and three quarters by ten and a half. Okay, then uh, you need two of another pattern. The first one is going to be three and a half by 11. And the next one is going to be three and a half by eight and a half. And then one other pattern that you want to choose from. You're going to do three and a half by eight and a quarter and three and a half by six and a quarter and then what else do i have i have two strips of espresso they are half inch by six times two i have two pieces of cardstock this is our new acorn so they are six by nine and a quarter one of them the other one is six by seven and a half <coughs> excuse me and you probably noticed on this paper i have went ahead and i have taken espresso ink and done espresso ink on all the paper so that was a prep that i did I also have two sheets of white daisy, which are 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So there's two. And you can see I splattered this with um, our espresso shimmer brush. Um, so I did that already. And then I'm mounting those on two sheets of espresso uh, cardstock okay and again my phone keeps slipping I'm sorry let me see if I can make it tighter I'm gonna make you sick for just a minute sorry everyone okay so those are our ways to go so Let's go ahead and start building our lovely layout. So we're gonna start with this first one. And when you uh, notice this, you will see that I kind of left 
the le uh, the left excuse me the right hand side on the first page because we're doing the left hand side so I left that because I know this is where most of my papers going okay so let me grab some adhesive and using our shimmer brushes are so much fun they add that texture and that warmth to your paper, which is very cool. So what this is going to be, it's going to be at the quarter inch mark because we have done that. I'm gonna set this one aside. And then I'm gonna take my longer piece, oh, they're the same size, oh, my wider piece, excuse me. And I am going to go ahead and anchor this down. I think I am going to come in at the bottom half inch. I know you can't see that. Moving that up a little bit. So I did it at the half inch mark here on my, because I have my espresso in the 12 by 12 grid. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my little pieces here and carefully add. And this, should fit right there. So it goes on the top like that. I'm gonna take the larger piece. Oh, guess what? Drats, I did that wrong already. Gotta build underneath it. Well, you got a preview, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and Leave that. See, these are six, right? Yep, so six. So nine and three. I'm just double checking. I'm going to make sure I like what it's going to be. Just gonna lay it out here. And then the green long one. So, oops, can't do those pieces yet. Got to do this piece first. So I'm coming in at the nine and the three. And I hope you can see that having that color on here just gives it a little bit more warmth. And then I'm going to do 
do with the right of it. And I'm only coming just about a quarter inch down. Then we'll do the green side. Try to get those to meet. You're gonna cover that up so it'll be okay there. And then let's go ahead and tack this down again. See if I can get it the way it was. And yes, I know that is, you didn't need all that. You could have just done little strips. Oh, I see. Boy, I'm really pulling this up, aren't I? Because I realize now that I want a little bit more showing I don't want it so flush so that you get this carry over here okay, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more tack since I've taken this off a few times I am still going come at the half inch like that and I am going to add a little bit more to my espresso piece since I did kind of pull that off a couple times so then you get a little bit truer you get that color variation there, okay? So, I'm liking that. Okay, so as I said, I have done some sunflowers and I just colored these, I know it's probably hard to see, but I colored all of these with a shimmer brush. So, a lot of fun. This one you can definitely see where it was really sparkly, but um, you uh, see what I was creating with that. I am going to grab my um, sticker sheet for this because I do want to add some fun stickers. I love this leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Yeah, I think that, and I am going to take my pillow puff. Sorry, my thing is acting up, isn't it? Still can see it there. Okay, perfect. And I'm just patting this lightly with some powder. And I'm going to put some foam on here. Just so it will give us some height and I can play around with this a little bit. Um,
Okay, I kind of like that. So I am going to go ahead and stick this down. And then I like that the pumpkin's kind of peeking out. So let's add this here. And kind of like the sunflower behind there too. I was thinking about adding a little bit of pop, but I don't think I want to do that. Now by keeping the foam tape on the, um, off the edges, I'm not worried about it encroaching a little bit where my photo mat is gonna go right here. Um, I am I think I am going to do a, and I should have cut this out ahead of time. I'm going to do a five by seven. Um, I think that will give us um, some wiggle room as far as our photo should look and the style it should be. So it's going to be five and a quarter by seven and a quarter to fit that photo. Let's make sure I'm liking that. Yeah, I kind of like that there. So I am going to go ahead and put that down and I kind of like it just a smidge under this line here and let me grab a photo place card for a five by seven Ooh, that's a six by eight not that big so you get the gist of what the photo is going to look like and I'm just going to use my close to my heart here that just holds a little piece in the middle which always makes it look like it's not even because it floats a little bit too much but it's easy to replace if you don't need that white background okay I'm liking this and then I think I am going to take this half square and I think I'm just going to tuck that oops tuck that there just to add some depth there and then um, oh, I want that pumpkin to come down a little further you guys probably caught that before I did right same with the sunflower there we go doesn't look like it's floating so much. Um, I do have this that I probably will add when I do my banner, when I actually put my photo on here. So I have that. Let me trying to decide um, we don't have really any brown per se I could color some brown ones um, I'm talking about um, bling and all of that um, and I'm all out of I'm gonna to have to look at it and see if I really want to add, I'm almost thinking it needs to be a little bit of gold. Oh no, that's too shimmery. That's not what we want. Okay.
two orange. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to come back to that and figure out what I want to do with that. So stay tuned or watch for the photos when they come. So um, I'm gonna set that aside. And we already know we're gonna do the same, similar to the same thing, except this time, make sure and put your splatters on the outside edge. And I am a proponent, I don't use a lot of adhesive, um, one, because I always change my mind, but mainly because by the time it gets in a page protector, it is holding in shape. Okay, so again, it's going to just be at the quarter inch marks all the way around, just like that. And we are going to start again. Oops, I will need this because I want to make sure I line this not that piece. Line this piece up so that they match. Try to do it properly this time. <laughs> So then I am going to get my pieces that I need. I pretty much can. Do you ever do this too where you it's just easier to figure out where you've already placed them so it's good to go? And I know that they're going to be in page protectors. But they still work and they're still awesome to do it. And I just think that little bit of espresso ink adds so much to the outer edges. I think it just really warms the outer edges so nicely. And I am going to get my espresso and my pattern paper and I'm still going to leave this here so that I can't remember where I came in at this. Yep, the one inch. Okay, perfect. So we know where it's at. I am going to put my espresso piece down. I think that'll be easiest to line up. And then, oops. Well, didn't I do that? Forgot to trim this piece. It's not supposed to be six. It's supposed to be four in. Four and three quarter. I knew that looked a little long when I was talking to you, but. Okay, so this piece is going down at the one. And that's perfect. Look at that. I love it. All right. Yay, yay. Okay. So before we get too carried away, I'm going to do another espresso cut. I'm going to do a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Five. Six and a quarter. So that's going to go here. peeking out and then a three and a quarter by four and a quarter so 
that will go here like that and then I really liked this little tag I thought this tag that was on the sticker sheet was really cute and I am going to do that like that and then I'm going to take a couple of my pumpkins so I have one there maybe I'm only going to do one pumpkin because I already have a pumpkin and then I think I am because I can bury this a little bit and we'll do a brighter orange and where's my leaf We'll do a leaf coming out like that. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. So I like that. But I think I am... Ooh. I'm going to... See this piece right here? I'm I want that plaid. And so I'm just going to cut it off that tail like that. And I am going to dovetail so that it looks like that, okay? Put that on my sheet right here and then I have a yellow like in that one so this one on my sheet and okay, I'm going to take Off that one I showed you earlier I'm gonna just take that tail off because I can make another tail so I am gonna lay this one down first like that then I'm gonna lay this underneath it that and this one's going to sit like that okay okay let's anchor these down I think I'm going to because I want to play with this a little bit. I'm going to go here and I'm going to put the pumpkin down flush also over the top. And the leaf is going to sit here. And then I am going to pop. I'm going to put a, a dot, a foam dot on that. Wish they would come back with those. Like those foam dots. So I have that little bit, and I almost wonder. Now I said one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's what we need. And I know what might help. Where is 
my cork here. As you can see, I've played with my cork leaves. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, let's see, is this? Hopefully, this is going to go. I had some um, from a project I was using earlier, some paprika on this. And so I just warmed up. Can you see the difference there? Just warmed up the leaves. And I love that these cork shapes come with adhesive on the back. You just have to peel it off. Gonna touch that one more edge down here. My finger probably took some of it off. And then I'm gonna just slightly, because I put that, I have some, yeah, and I needed that height. I like that, okay. And I think I'm gonna keep with the cork got a little color on it. I'm gonna just, just to keep with that, and I'm gonna go back to my first page too and add some cork shape to it because we gotta play with it, right? Just like that. Ooh, I like, well, not that one. Okay, so let me bring in, um, I'm just making sure there was nothing more on this pay, this sticker sheet that I kind of wanted to play with, but I don't think so. Oh, I know, I didn't put these down. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong size, wrong size, wrong size, wrong size. So let me grab the right sizes. So that you have a reference point. And I talked about um, having having something on the other one. You do have this arrow which you could be you have crisp space. There's lots of different things that you could add to this if you wanted to um, but I'm going to grab the other page really quick I'm going to add some of those cork leaves and I have a big one that I think I'm going to get my paprika here and just give it a little bit of warmth just to the edges because leaves have multi colors and i think it's fun if we can play with that if you're leaning more towards the green colors then you're probably going to want to do something like a, more of a um one more i think I can see where these cork shapes are going to be really popular. I did, I did uh, some cards for card class using the cork shapes, so we're going to have some fun with them. And again, I'm just pouncing them lightly with a sponge dauber, um, just to add a little bit more color to it. And you can choose to take the center out. I kind of like the center being gone, but you could also make it very dark and change that so it really looks like a vine, just so they're kind of floating, right? And then I think I'm gonna put one up here just to carry that. Yeah, these corks are kind of, these shapes are really cool. Fun to play with. Okay. 
Now remember, this paper pack is also a bundle, so you can do that too. So, all right, so there is our left-hand page. Whoop, whoop. And here is our right-hand page. So you can see how they just nicely flow together. All right, ladies, there's class one. Have a great day.